Hi, and welcome to a very special episode of Underground Nutrition Rates Your Garbage Energy Drinks. We're going to do the tier list that you've seen PewDiePie do. <laughs> My producer wants me to say, what's the line? If you like this video, like it. <laughs> Smash that like button. Subscribe. Talk shit in the comments. YouTube is way harder than I thought. I figured you just make silly videos and you put it up and you become a millionaire. Not true. It's actually a lot of hard work and it's like stressful. So what we're going to do is we're going to rate the energy drinks that I carry in my store on an... What, what would we call this list? It's like a Super Smash Brothers tier list. S class, highest, and then it's F through A, just like in school. So we're going to rate the drinks that I carry here, and then we're going to rate some of the more popular ones that we don't carry. This is a little disclaimer. I am a supplement store. We are for health and fitness and wellness, and I am well aware that energy drinks are poison, and I still drink two a day. First up, we're going to go with Prime. Prime is not an energy drink, but it was in my refrigerator. Massive amount of press with this. Uh, we were hesitant to even bring it in because it was so corny. You mad, bro? Raw is just... Oh, my goodness! Oh! I think it was a Jake Paul, Logan Paul, right? KSI. I'm not particularly a fan. I don't hate them, but I don't like them. The idea of them having an energy hydration drink is ridiculous. 25 calories. This flavor is blue. I've had it before. It doesn't taste too bad. Absolute trash. Otherwise, let's see just a couple of the ingredients here. Unreadable. Hydrochloride is one of the ingredients so that's probably good for you also contains tree nuts so let's see what would i rank this i'm gonna put this it's not the worst thing in the world i'm gonna give this a d great marketing people are suckers for anything shiny they made millions of dollars good for them not the worst thing in the world certainly not the best anybody who waited in line for one of the new flavors should be executed <clears throat> Oh, this is a special one. This is a Sea Bum Energy. These are new. I guess he designed them to look like beer cans. It's kind of cool, I guess, if you like beer. This one's called Orange Sunrise. Chris Bumstead is probably the most famous bodybuilder right now, I would say. Certainly the most aesthetic, in my opinion. I think he gets a lot of hate. He has a lisp. I don't care about his lisp. I kind of like Chris Bumstead. I kind of like them because people don't like them. This, let's see, five calories. Uh, looks like a bunch of garbage in it. Sucralose, caffeine. I'm going to call this standard energy drink with a standard orange flavor. Let's try it out. I haven't had it before. Yep, tastes like orange, fake orange. Oh, that's not too good. That's not too bad either. Uh, I don't know. I like Chris Bumstead. Mm, I would drink it again. I would drink that again. I wonder how it hits. 112 milligrams of natural caffeine. It's a specific number, 112. Not really enough caffeine for me. I like around the 300 mark. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give that a C. It's not too bad, I would drink it again. I wouldn't buy it, it's probably five bucks. God bless you if you do. What's next? I fucking hate this. I hate Celsius, I hate the way they taste. I hate, I've tried every single one. There's something in it that makes me feel like, I, like I'm coming down from methamphetamine. 200 milligrams of caffeine, vegetable juice for color, 10 calories. They got, they throw in like the taurine and all that bullshit. Maybe it's the green tea extract that you feel. I don't know. I never liked these. I, I probably drink them every once in a while just because nobody really buys them here. I pass on that. I'm going to give that an F. I, I hate Celsius. Oh, what we got? Oh, Alani. Let me, this brand, I first came across this brand, uh, this brand working for GNC. And if I remember correctly, they were targeting females in the, like a female pre-workout. And I mean, just nothing in it, like four ingredients sold at a premium price. Their supplements, their protein, their pre-workout, their EAAs, garbage. Absolute garbage, not worth the price point, total waste of money. Great marketing campaign. Girls ate it up. People love the name. People love the colors. So they did a really good job there. But 
their saving grace was this energy drink. I drink probably about 15 of these a week. That's no joke. Every one of their flavors is great. My favorite flavor is the peach one. Peach one is fucking it's just pop. It's got a little peach on it. it. Tastes just like a little peach. This one's tropical. I would drink this one too. I like them all. This is my favorite. We probably, honestly, we probably lose money on these with the amount that I drink every week and don't take off inventory and drive my manager crazy. This, I'm gonna put this, this is gonna be S class. I don't care what anyone says. It's gonna be controversial. I don't give a shit. It's Alani's Saving Grace. What do you got here? Rise, the nostalgia brand. Rise is an okay supplement company. They have some pretty good pre-workouts. They, they make a couple good things. They sell pretty well here. I don't have anything bad to say about the company's protein. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the cleanest. Again, one of those brands that put tons of money into marketing and it paid off. Now their whole shtick with their energy drinks, 200 milligrams of choline, I don't know why they're advertising that, contains line. That can't be good for you. It's like it has its own letting you know caution. This contains fentolutonics. I've never heard of that. I don't even know what that is. I probably should. Zero calories. It's got pink Himalayan sea salt in it and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Their whole shtick is nostalgia. They have a the ring pop flavor. They have Smarties. Pretty sure they have like a Swedish fish, country time lemonade. I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I tried all the flavors. Most of them were underwhelming. But not too bad. I think the uh, the standout for me was the Smarties. It tasted a lot like a Smartie. You know, who doesn't like a good Smartie? Baja Burst. I think it's supposed to taste like a Mountain Dew. It's all right. I'm going to give this a B. Put this in the B class. Not too bad. Oh, God. First Farm. It's not great to talk shit about companies that you sell their stuff. And I'm not going to really lay into First Farm. My biggest problem with... Uh, first form, sorry, first, I keep, always say that, is it form or form? Yeah, first form. My biggest problem with them is that they, they put crappy stuff in their, like, protein. And they kind of market themselves as, like, some fucking standout, clean company with, you know, your best interests in mind. And if you really take a look at the ingredient profile on their proteins and stuff, you'd quickly find out that it's expensive poison. I would imagine that their energy drinks are no different. I had a couple of them. I like the taste of them. 200 milligrams of caffeine. They do the standard orange, green, blue flavors. Underwhelming. I give it an E. Next. Oh, ghost. I've said it before. I did a video once before. Where this is a company I want, I want to hate ghost. I really do. I don't really have a good reason for it. I think it's because it was popular amongst people that I don't like, maybe, at first. <laughs> people that ruined the gym for me. I don't know. I, I don't. I wanted to really dislike Ghost when they first came out. I think they were a GNC exclusive, if I remember correctly. I like their branding, their little logo. It doesn't make a ton of sense in like the fitness industry, but it kind of kills. They have a billion flavors. All their flavors are pretty good. Some of the standouts are like the Sour Patch Kids. I drink the Orange Creamsicle. I drink that once in a while. I like the Tropical Mango one. Flavors are pretty good. Even though I want to hate them, I give them a fair shake and I probably drink one every single time I'm at Paramount and I drink it for free. Uh, I don't pay them for it. Uh, I'm going to give Ghost a B. I think it's a B. Ah, no, you know, I'm a C. C, that's a C. It's good. It's good enough. So those are the energy drinks that I carry here at the store. I would say the most popular of all of them Toss up. I would, I would say probably Ghost is the most popular, and Alani's pretty popular. But I can't tell if it's popular because I drink them all or other people buy them. What other? We got any other ones? You got a list? Got six of the most popular energy drinks. All right, give, give it to me. First one is Red Bull. Red Bull is a, a, a undrinkable gar. The the zero sugar Red Bull is one of the nastiest drinks in the entire world. You only drink it when you're at casinos. It's overpriced garbage. Is there one lower than an F? Uh, I mean, if it's not a white monster, it's an F white monster. I'll give a B just for the memes. Bruh. Rockstar. Rockstar is the kid rock of energy drinks. If I see you walking down the street and you're drinking a Rockstar, I'm going to assume the worst. <laughs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Bud Light.
Light and Anheuser Busch. You unironically listen to Corn and have a chain wallet. <laughs> That's a uh, new metal team. This is a new metal team. Five hour energy. Five hour energy? I mean, I think I've, I've only drank those in like emergency situations. I'm like too drunk back when I used to drink. I think those were out back then. You have to slam a couple, it tastes like cough syrup. Uh, it's, they're, I mean, they're absolutely trash and they'll give you a heart attack, I think, eventually. I, a little higher than a rock star, though, so I'll give it an E. That an E class. Without a Nas. What the fuck is Nas? Nas? Was that like the fucking. Oh, I've seen those in like a 7 Eleven. I feel like that's not like what's the uh, fat. It's like the Fast and Furious crowd. Family, 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 family. Like, like rock stars to new metal, Nasses to guys who fucking spend money on body kits. We talk about their exhaust <laughs> and drink Nas. <laughs> Oh, cool rims. What are you drinking, a NOS? I'm gonna give that, uh, I'm gonna give that an E. <laughs> Rain. Rain. Rain's weird. We used to carry Rain. I might even have it in my one of my other stores. I drink them in the same way that I would drink a Ghost or a Rise. If you put one in the other can, you would. I don't think you'd ever be able to tell the difference. Not good, not bad. Definitely toxic over time. C. C class. They have some interesting flavors. Their fucking branding sucks though. They have like a Transformer logo, like Optimus Prime, looks like. Wheelie say, I help you today. Who the fuck is this Autobot? 3D energy. 3D energy we used to carry here. Interchangeable with any standard, nothing special about it. The uh, branding sucks. The flavors are just like the colors in the can. It tastes like you're drinking blue, tastes like you're drinking red. That's just like, you don't feel like drinking a cup of coffee and you gotta wake the fuck up for some Zoom meeting. Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the video settings. It, in the it is, and I don't know how to remove it. I'm prepared to go forward with it. I would say D-list all day. Yeah, so if I if I forgot any, uh, I'm sure I have, uh, leave a comment and tell me uh, what stupid energy drink you like and why it's great and why I should care. I don't know, this is the first time trying this. It's like we're, we're doing this. We have like two parts of our uh, YouTube functioning at the same time. One part's like semi-serious supplement stuff. The other part is like wacky podcast, goofy shit like this. We're trying to figure out what people like the most. I don't know, fuck it. Content is content. If you like it, uh, like it, right? give it a like, like it. it. If you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You, why are you rolling your eyes? Something takes a part of me.